How much to invest in cryptocurrency to become a millionaire? In this video, I'm gonna talk exactly about a formula that you could become a millionaire in cryptocurrencies. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you literally a formula. What do you need to put at work into what and how it could work? It has happened for clients in exact scenario. So not advice, just a scenario. And it's worked just a few times. So the three things I'm gonna talk about in the video is what is cryptocurrency? I'm gonna talk about the top coins, and then I'm gonna give you a scenario that many of my clients have used and become a millionaire in one year. Some you will get it in five years and 10 years. I'm also gonna be bringing to you one of my dear friends, partners, and world leading expert. Worked for the Deutsche Bank, has overseen billions of dollars, and is an extraordinary mathematician, algorithmic planner, and he is the really developer of iFlip, which is an AI app that we use to be in the stock market, soon to be in digital currency. So I'm gonna be bringing Kelly in, and we'll be doing an interview on his perspective on these cryptocurrency questions. Can't wait to meet him. So what is cryptocurrency? I'm actually gonna give you a formal definition. So cryptocurrency is a form of payment can be used in exchange of online goods and services. Actually, the truth is I know groups in Florida that are buying real estate with it. I know people who bought cars with it. Amazon and Starbucks are allowing and taking Bitcoin and digital currency as a form of payment. So it's a form of payment that's digitally tracked and digitally originated. A lot of companies and soon to be countries are gonna issue their own currencies, sometimes known as tokens, and they're used to purchase goods and services. So what makes them different is how they're tracked. They're tracked on a blockchain, which is a series of computers that actually documents the transactions. So it encrypts it, it secures it, and it can never be changed. It's a ledger of sorts. So, you know, it's been around since 2010. Over 10 years, cryptocurrency has been a thing. I remember in 2010 being at one of the original meetings where people started talking about Bitcoin, knowing now what I would have known then, people were selling it for cents, like four cents, 10 cents, 21 cents. I wish I would have bought, but I didn't. I was skeptical like most folks, but those who got into it, I stayed in touch with. And I can tell you it has moved forward. This pandemic has put digital currency, cryptocurrency so far, so much further than anybody thought we would be. Most people thought it would be another five or 10 years before it's really all take effect. But like I said, Amazon uses it as, as currency. Starbucks, you can buy vehicles. I have a really good friend. Most of you might know who he is. He's pretty famous in the Bitcoin world. Has a radio show, bought a Lamborghini with it. Um, you've, you can transact in uh, real estate with it. There are platforms that are being bu uh, built actually north of Reno, Nevada right now. And the only way to buy into that development properties is gonna be with Bitcoin. So it's not a thing that might happen, it's happened, it is happening. Your job right now is to get educated on how do you bring this into your financial structure? How do you bring this into your financial world? You know, before it became more of a thing, the way I described it to people having traveled all over the world is, you know, every time I go to a different country, I have to exchange. I have to exchange into a Euro, I have to exchange into Australian dollars, I have to exchange into New Zealand dollars, I have to exchange into the South African rand. So the exchange fees and the exchange, just the values of all that, the, the foreign exchange was costly. What Bitcoin does is it international, it's a global currency. Yes, there's small fees, but fees are like minuscule compared to what it was to have to go transact into other currencies. So will there be a world currency? We're gonna stay tuned and ask that to Kelly. Kelly Korsik is a partner, a friend, and an expert, and I'm gonna have him really dive in. He knows the banking systems, worked for Deutsche Bank for a very long time and oversaw billions of dollars. So I'm gonna leave that question for him, is will there be a one world currency? And will it be Bitcoin? Will it be other coins? So in the comments below, put in, you know, do you have a wallet, yes or no? And what wallet do you have? And what kind of coins have you bought? You know, there's a lot of different tokens, there's different projects. I know one project that is actually like um, American Idol, right, where people are singing and they're voting with different tokens and uh, it's very gamified. So it's super fun. What have you been doing? Put it in my comments below. Now, before I tell you the millionaire strategy and how much money, and uh, I can promise you 100,000 will get it done, just to give you a little tip, but I'm gonna give you the exact formula after our interview with Kelly Korsak. Kelly Korsak, again, designs algorithms, math, genius, oversaw the Deutsche Bank, banking expert, and is overseeing all of iFlip, which is an AI-driven platform for investing in stocks. And it pulls you out of the market before it shorts and before it goes too far down. So I'm gonna 
We're gonna go listen in to an interview with Kelly and I and let him, the genius, the expert, explain in depth some of these principles. So Kelly, welcome to the interview. It's great to have you. And I've been bragging about you through our YouTube channels and we are here to have a quick interview. So again, the things that we're gonna talk about are what is cryptocurrency, what are the top coins, and what strategies to follow to become a millionaire. So Kelly, welcome to our Millionaire Maker YouTube channel. Well, thank you, Laura. Good to be here. Always look forward to these events and to helping your community in any way I can. So first, before we jump in, tell uh, folks a little bit about you. All right. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Kelly Korshak. I am a co-owner of Flip Investor. Flip Investor is a software platform that offers algorithmic methodologies to invest in the stock market where we're attempting to outperform the market, but take less risk in doing so. So that's what I, who I am right now. And prior to that, I was an investment manager on Wall Street. I began my career, oh my Lord, maybe 40 years ago and ended it about 10 years ago before I got into this business. Um, I worked all around the world for very large uh, banks like Morgan Stanley, Solomon Brothers, Deutsche Bank. Um, and then I went to work for some hedge funds in the New York area, as well as uh, the UK and London. Um, I retired basically around 2011 and um, was trying to find something to do. And then I got involved in Flip Investor, um, <laughs> which is a very similar business to what I did before. And I enjoy my uh, new retirement. <laughs> your new activities and those of you as you stay to the end we're going to actually give you a link to go get an iFlip account on a free app let's start with the definition what is cryptocurrency cryptocurrency is a currency that exists totally inside the internet which is also encompassed and encapsulated in something called the blockchain very simple it essentially represents a store of value just like a dollar bill or a Brazilian real or a, what used to be a Deutsche Mark, but is now the major component of the Euro currency. It is just a simple digital currency. All right. And then the top coins that are currently being traded. I know there are thousands of them, but what are the top ones right now? We'll take the top three are always going to, I always think of these, the cryptocurrencies in the form of uh, cars. So you have Cadillacs and you have Chevys and you have Volkswagens. And the three Cadillacs are, of course, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. There are many, many other coins, some of them that have great potential. But those are the three largest coins. And of course, the main coin of all of those, the Ferrari or the Lamborghini of all currencies is still and will remain Bitcoin. So speak to each of those and their distinctions, right? Especially Ethereum and what smart contracts are. So speak a little bit to why someone would have Bitcoin versus Ethereum versus Litecoin. The reason you have, and by the way, many others, the main reason why you would own any cryptocurrencies is the idea, just like owning regular currencies, if if you have a store of wealth, say you have money and all your money is in US dollars, that means your main bet is that the US dollar will always remain the strongest currency in the world. And for the most part, that's true. And it has been true for all of our lifetimes and will probably remain to be true in the next five, 10, 15 years as well. But I think the origin of cryptocurrencies, remember, came out of the financial crisis of 2008 which literally started in this country. So the differentiation of those currencies is no more than to say that if, uh, that if a new country were to pop up that, has, mm -hmm. that would emerge, that has a stable central government and would offer its own currency as an exchange for the goods in that country, then that may be someday a challenge to the US dollar. Right now, the challenge to the US dollar is of course the euro currency, probably the Chinese RMB, and more than likely beyond that, the Japanese yen. So the cryptocurrencies emerged 
from Bitcoin because it was the first solidly defined currency based on the blockchain. The blockchain is nothing more than an algorithm that holds a ledger of the transactions of people buying it and selling it since the beginning of its existence. So there is really no difference from Bitcoin and Ethereum or Litecoin when they were first developed. They were just three new countries offering a currency and a place to exchange to say, hey, I'm worth this, I'm worth that. Bitcoin was the first, and that's sort of like the new emerging country. So Amer imagine the dollar being the first currency, and then, then after that, the Chinese RMB, and then after that, the euro currency. They just emerged. And you can say, hey, the dollar is worth this, the euro is worth that, the uh, RMB is worth another thing. That's all they are. They're just different currencies, all based on the blockchain, but they just emerged around the same time. And there is no fundamental difference in those three original cryptocurrencies from the other, other than they, they don't share the same blockchain, yeah. just like a country doesn't share the same borders. Yeah, that's good. Now let's go to the strategy, right? There's a lot of people being made millionaires, but let's talk through, um, you know, and you gave an example of, you know, if we 10X, you know, easily in five to 10 years, I mean, what would be a strategy or several strategies uh, to become a millionaire in cryptocurrency? Okay, so I, I read that question is how could I invest in cryptocurrencies and how much do I need to invest in a cryptocurrency to become a millionaire? Hmm. Well, let's look at it this way. I don't think anybody that invests, for example, if you're a European and you invest in a dollar bill, how long will it take you to become a millionaire? Well, it, it'll never happen. It'll just be that dollar. And vice versa, if we bought a euro currency today, it will not appreciate because it is only something relative to something else. Those currencies have established their values based on the goods and services that each country produces and the perceived value of something built in America that is exchanged for something that might be built in Europe or China those things will oscillate. In other words, they will never really appreciate greatly against each other. For example, the dollar will never become um, much worth. Right now, a dollar to a euro is about a dollar 30 area. It doesn't mean a dollar will never buy you a hundred euros. Right. It would basically be meaning that Europe doesn't exist. But to get to the point, Cryptocurrencies will appreciate for a reason. And the reason is that the market cap of these cryptocurrencies is relatively small. Uh, recently, the market cap of a cryptocurrency has become around 1.4 trillion on the Bitcoin. But we all know that this is something that means every Bitcoin right now is worth approximately $61,000 and if we added up all the Bitcoin that is available in circulation, which is around, what is it, 20 million or so, 19 million coins, we multiply that by the 61,000, we'll find it's about $1.4 trillion. Yep. And so the thing is that's happened here is unlike a country, there is a set amount of some of these currencies and there is very little money you, dollars that have been exchanged or euros or RMBs that have been exchanged for cryptocurrencies, which means that as the world wakes up and accepts this currency, it will one day have a value probably, I would think, over $100 trillion. The strategy yeah. to become a millionaire, for example, on Bitcoin, will yeah. look something like this. To become... I personally feel that Bitcoin in the future is likely to have assets worth around $100 trillion. In other words, I feel a Bitcoin will appreciate more than 
50 to 100 times its current value. Suppose I'm right and it goes higher and say it was just 25 times more than it is now. Well, that's 25 times 63,000. Um, anybody have a number for me? I can tell you that it seems to me that it's going to be around 10,000 US dollars will make mm -hmm. you a millionaire at some time. I can get a calculator out, folks, but just imagine that the 61,000 goes up to around, call it a million dollars a coin. Yeah. And like, and yesterday, I think it hit an all time high at 67,000. So you're saying, right. And again, this is disclaimers. These are opinions. These are ideas. These aren't financial advice or telling any of you what to do. Um, that if someone started with 10,000, they could become a millionaire in 10 years. So if they want to speed it up, 100,000 in three to five. Yeah, I, I would say that, but I can tell you, I feel that within less than a generation, my my thinking would be uh, a generation is generally about 18 years. I would say around um, nine or 10 years from now, I think that 10,000 could be worth a million. In other words, much faster than you think. Because again, as younger people come into the marketplace, they will accept these currencies more widely. Um, yeah. institutionally and otherwise. So my guess is a $10,000 investment today will make someone very likely to be worth a mil that same um, asset will be worth a million dollars between nine and 10 years from now. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And then uh, again, many people who are learning to trade and have algorithms to trade, which we're gonna be doing at Flip in uh, a very short time, um, it'll go even faster. So Kelly, thank you for that. Those of you that are out there watching, we will be back with more interviews with Kelly. So you'll be hearing more from Kelly as uh, our conversation continues, but I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, again, inside our description, we'll give you a free app to the iFlip of which Kelly runs all those algorithms and digital currency is soon to come inside that app. Let's go to the final point and how many of my clients I mean, have become millionaires in digital currency. So the obvious one I'm just gonna take right off the table because it's a highly specialized technique, which is trading and trading coins and trading digital currencies. I've had students as young as 18, 19, and as old as 40s and 50s who are very digitally inclined, built their own algorithms and actually been trading currencies. So that one, I'm just gonna take off the table because that's for a very small percent of people. But for you, the average person out there watching say, what should I get into and what should I do? Let's just take Bitcoin as an example. And this is, these are true stories. So from as low as $57,000, right, when it 10 x I mean, think about it. It wasn't very long ago when Bitcoin was 4,000, 7,000, 9,000. It is now on average about 57, right? 57, it's gone as high as 64, 65,000. So any of those moves would have made you a millionaire. So let's just take 57,000. Let's just say it's going to 10X, which almost every prediction. Now, when is it going to 10X? Is it going to be in three years, five years, 10 years? So there's your spread. You take 57,000 at 10 X's, you're at $570,000. So this isn't like a huge math equation, but it is about the sustainability, just like anything. And uh, Kelly would say this too, when you're going long, which means you're gonna stay and hold, just like an S&P 500, like a lot of people stay and just hold that in that index for years and years and years, and they plan to stay for a decade, two decades, three decades. A lot of these kind of you know currencies that you wanna do, especially if you wanna be a Bitcoin millionaire, you're just gonna buy and hold. So for some of you, you know, back to the wallets, you say, well, is this the point where maybe I take some of that as I buy since I'm not trading and I move it into a Tracer or a cold wallet storage? Possibly. This is where you've got to talk to your experts. You're gonna to have to, I say you talk to bankers, but that's really not who you talk to yet. Will banking become a thing where all of this is transacted it's already here. There's not a bank that doesn't have and a country that doesn't have its own currency. We'll be talking about that in future videos. But for now, can you be a millionaire in cryptocurrency? Absolutely. I would say get in the game. A little technique that I use with a lot of my students is you put that purchase inside of Roth IRA. So I know Roths are on the chopping block. They've been on the chopping block before. So we just hope it doesn't get passed. But Roth accounts are tax-free, tax-deferred accounts. So when you put them in, like I know, you know, our own accounts, a lot of our student accounts, they bought it for seven, nine thousand, all in a Roth, 
all now on that growth curve and then continuing to fund. Huge strategies on how to do it. Can you become a millionaire in cryptocurrency? Many have, many more will. This is about a long play for you. So put your money in, put it in a wallet, make sure you have a right strategy, get some advice around this. Kelly and his team are the best that I know. So again, in this description, I want you to go click and get the iFlip app. I want you to be ready when the cryptocurrency algorithms and their trading portfolios come out. I want you to get in through them. And uh, again, go click on the link below. Get the iFlip app today.